When you ask an AI a question, there's a critical decision that happens in a split second. It's a choice that determines whether the AI looks into its private internal notes or searches the entire public internet for an answer. Get this decision wrong? The consequences are massive. A company's most sensitive data could leak to the world. A medical AI could serve up dangerously outdated advice. But when it gets it right, that's when you experience pure magic. The AI analyzes your company's latest sales report and compares it to a competitor's press release that dropped five minutes ago. This isn't magic. It's a deliberate and surprisingly elegant process. Today, we're exploring how AI agents make this crucial choice, a choice that's transforming them from simple chatbots into truly powerful autonomous systems. Stop thinking of AI as a calculator. Start thinking of it as a hyper-efficient research assistant. Let's call him Alex. When you give Alex a task, he has two main places to look for information. First, he's got a personal, perfectly organized, and totally secure notebook. This notebook contains curated, trusted information specific to you or your company. Financial reports, project plans, your personal calendar, this is the AI's database. Searching it is incredibly fast and completely private. Alex knows everything in there is accurate and approved. Second, Alex has a key to the biggest library in the universe, the internet. This library is chaotic, massive, and has something to say about literally everything. Updated every single second. This is web search, perfect for breaking news, public opinion, or general knowledge. The catch? It's a mess, and it takes real skill to find what's relevant and true. The real genius of an AI agent isn't just that it can read from the notebook or the library. Its real power is deciding which one to use and when. That decision elevates a simple language model into a true AI agent that can reason about its world and take action. Clear structured delivery. In the AI world, this decision-making process has a name, Retrieval Augmented Generation. Let's break that down. Retrieval is just a fancy word for finding and grabbing information. Augmented Generation means using that info to create a way better, more fact-based answer. RAG basically gives an AI an open book test. It gets to check its notes before speaking. Step by step, here's how it works, a logical step-by-step -step flow. Step one, the user's prompt. It all starts with what you type. Anything from what were our sales in quarter two to who won the soccer match last night. Step two, the router, the brain of the operation. Here's where real thinking happens. Your question doesn't go straight to the large language model. First, it hits a component called a router or query rewriter. This is the decision maker. Slightly faster, more technical, and it's not just looking for keywords. This router is often a smart model itself. It might use simple rules, where a phrase like in our latest report signals searching the internal database. But advanced agents use machine learning trained on millions of examples to predict whether a question needs private data or public info. Step three, the search. Two paths based on the router's decision, the agent heads down one of two paths. If the router tagged the query as internal, it pings the private database. And this isn't just a spreadsheet. We're talking about a specialized vector database, which lets the AI search by meaning, not just keywords. So if you ask for top selling item, it finds a document titled quarter two product performance review because it understands the concepts are related. Building excitement. If the router decides the query needs public info, it uses a different tool, Web Search API. It sends a query to Google or Bing, just like you would. The clever part, it might run several different searches to get a wider perspective and prioritize sources that are recent and trustworthy. Step four, augmentation, the cheat sheet. This is the augmented part of RAG. 
The agent grabs the information it found and bundles it with your original question. It creates a super prompt that might look like this. Context, according to the internal sales database, quarter two revenue was $5.2 million. Users question, what were our sales in quarter two? Now answer the user. Step five, generation, the final answer. Finally, the large language model gets involved. It receives this rich augmented prompt packed with facts. Armed with this vital context, it generates a precise, accurate answer instead of taking a wild guess. Satisfied tone. Pretty elegant system when you break it down, right? Passionate, engaging pace. The tech is cool, but why should you care? Because this makes it possible to use AI safely and reliably for serious tasks. Example one, the secure corporate assistant. Imagine a big company gives an AI assistant to all employees. An HR manager asks, which employees are hitting their five-year work anniversary this month? The RAG agent's router instantly sees this is private, is sensitive. It queries the secure employee database, gets the list, gives the answer only to the HR manager. Crucially, no part of that query, no names, no dates, ever gets sent to the public web. Private, secure, and accurate. Example two, the always current financial analyst. An investment analyst asks, summarize the market's reaction to the Fed's interest rate announcement from this morning. The agent knows this information is public, brand new, and constantly changing. It triggers web search, scans top financial news sites, and creates a summary. This is how AI knows things that happen long after its training data was collected. Building to climax. Example three, the hybrid powerhouse. Here's where it gets really powerful. A marketing manager asks, how did our new product's launch sales compare to our main competitor's launch last month? The agent's router sees this as a hybrid question. It needs data from both inside and outside the company. First, it queries the internal sales database for your numbers. Then, it hits the web to find press releases about the competitor's launch. Finally, it takes both sets of data and asks the language model to run a comparative analysis emphasizing impact. The result? A detailed insight that would have taken a human analyst hours to put together. RAG architecture is the foundation, but it's already evolving fast. The future isn't just about AI that follows these rules, but one that learns and improves its own decision making. Researchers are building agents that use reinforcement learning to get smarter. If an agent pulls info from a source and you mark the answer as unhelpful, it learns to trust that source less next time. If a source consistently provides gold, it gets favored. We're seeing more complex multi-step agents. An agent might first run web search to get the general landscape of a topic, then use that knowledge to ask a much smarter, more specific question of its internal database. This is getting closer to how a human expert thinks. Get the lay of the land, then zero in on the details. This ability to plan separates a simple tool from a true agent. The next time you chat with an AI, remember the hidden logic firing behind the scenes. Remember Alex, the research assistant standing at a crossroads. In one direction, his private trusted notebook, the database. In the other, the wild public library, the web, building to strong finish. That simple yet profound choice of which path to take is orchestrated by retrieval augmented generation, a process of understanding your intent, routing your question to the right place, finding the facts, and using those facts to build a trustworthy answer. This ability to choose between private knowledge and the public web is transforming simple chatbots into reliable AI agents we can trust with our most important work. It's the key to making AI that isn't just intelligent, but also safe, secure, and genuinely helpful. Now that you understand the logic, I have a question for you. If you could build any kind of AI agent, what would it be? 
a personal research assistant for your hobbies, a powerful financial tool for your business? Drop your most creative ideas in the comments below. Thanks for watching.